classes and IDs solve a unique problem. But right now, in our CSS, we're changing all of the divs and you know we're giving them all a background of pink, a height of 200 pixels, width of 300 pixels, and floating them left. The problem is, what if we only want to call one of these divs and give that one a specific height or a different background color or, or whatever? We need to give it a class or an ID in order to do that. So let's say I give this one a class of one. Go in here and I'll give this one a class of two. And I'll get the third one an ID of three. When we refresh the page, everything's still going to work completely fine. When we go back, if we want to make changes after the dips, we already have these rules attached, right? But this is CSS, cascading style sheet. So if I put a rule after div, it'll take priority. So let's say I do dot one. Now the dot indicates that I'm calling a class. So I can just say background color, let's go with gray. So I'll save that and I'll go back. And when I refresh, the hello world div is now gray. So I can go back and I can go to dot two and I'll change the height to 500 pixels and I'll go back and I'll refresh and now this one's height is 500 pixels which really messes with our image that's okay and the last one was actually an ID so I'll, an ID is indicated by a hashtag so I'll change this width to 100 pixels and I'll save it and there we go so that's how you would add a class or an ID, and then you would manipulate it in CSS. You might be asking yourself, well, when would I want to use a class, and when would, I, when would I want to use an ID? For now, always use a class. The difference is that a class can be used on as many elements as you want. So for example, we could go back here and give ID of 3 a class equal to 1. And now when we go back, it'll change this to gray because it also has a class on it. So you can have class and ID on the same element. A class can be used multiple times, and ID cannot. So it's fine for us to say, okay, class one here, class one here. We can't do ID equals three because this div already has an ID of three attached to it. So for now, I would just stay away from IDs. They're primarily used with JavaScript and jQuery. Uh, they make things just a lot easier. Stick with classes, and you'll be good.